My first guest is Ann Morris. Welcome, Ann. Ann has been in the kitchen and bath design business for more than 25 years. She is a certified master kitchen and bath designer, a color for your home expert, and a certified aging in place specialist. Ann currently works at Allied Kitchen and Bath in Fort Lauderdale, and she's a designer specializing in kitchens and baths. Ann is also an instructor and speaker for the National Kitchen and Bath Association. Her work has been featured in national publications such as House Beautiful, The New York Times, and Better Homes and Gardens magazine. She has also appeared on HGTV in a spa bath feature. Anne, you are a wealth of information. Thank I am you, Jan. so happy to have you here today. Tell us, just to begin, how did you get started in kitchen and bath design? Well, it was back in the 80s. And in the 80s, it, there were specialties. Doctor specialists, lawyer specialists, and kitchen and bath was just up and coming. Mm -hmm. So when I was in design school, we didn't have a separate kitchen and bath class. So when I got out of design school, I said, you know, this is a good start to specialize in kitchens and baths. The Europeans were so ahead of us that I decided to work for a kitchen and bath showroom. Hmm. And I got a lot, a lot, a lot of training there. So, and starting with that, I really enjoyed space planning, I enjoyed the kitchen, and I loved doing bathrooms. So, Fearless. needless to say, it was an up and coming field and the kitchen and bath profession has come a long way. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. Everybody is doing renovations, it seems, and it is a wonderful way to enhance the value of your home. Tell me some of the ways when you work with clients that you can create and enhance the karma of their home via the kitchen and bath design. Well, first of all, Jan, when I go into a space, especially the kitchen, and I stand there and I say, what is so important here? Lighting. Mm -hmm. Lighting is so important. Space planning. The natural light first, and then the artificial lighting. Mm -hmm. What do we do today as far as renovation? Take walls down, expand the space. Yes. We're expanding the space into the family room. Right, the open concept. The open concept, it is, larger yes. islands. Absolutely. Uh, it's the heart of the home. Mm -hmm. So everybody goes into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So why not make the islands much bigger? Right. Much larger. Right. Lighting is so important. And now we are lighting the countertops, underneath the countertops. We, the ambient lighting, mm -hmm. the task lighting, the LED lighting has come such a long way. Right. In bathrooms, they're lighting the tubs, the hydrotherapy along with chromotherapy. They're, I mean, we're going into closets in the bathroom, mm -hmm. the bathroom and making them larger, but we can still make a spa-like bathroom out of a five by eight, a five by seven, a 10 by 10. So people that say, well, gee, I only have a tiny bathroom, mm -hmm. but you can make a spa-like bathroom. Fabulous. So you don't need a lot of space to make your kitchen and bath designs come true, to Absolutely. enhance that home. You don't have to have a huge home. You can do it in any space possible. Absolutely. We could take a five by seven and make it into a spa bathroom. We can make a tiny kitchen without knocking out a wall as far as giving that space an open feel mm -hmm. by right. making the window wider, making more natural light come in, and then with so much natural uh, artificial lighting mm -hmm. that's you know so prevalent today, right. we can really expand the space, go higher. Higher meaning there's so many soffits that are existing in right. homes today. Yes. We take them right out. Right. You go up to the go ceiling. Go up to the ceiling. Absolutely. Glass cabinets. People love glass cabinets mm -hmm. and they don't have to be see-through glass. Right. You can do the opaque, but it still gives it. an open feel. Absolutely love it. 
Um, you've brought some things with us. Are these some of the latest trends in colors and yeah. designs that you can share with our audience? Definitely. Well, white, 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 and more white. Ah, okay. So we're going back towards the white. For a long time, kitchens were dark woods. And espresso, yes, 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 we're coming we're out of that. Trending towards white. We, right. Okay, Tell 90s, us about in that. the 90s, the white was prevalent. Mm -hmm, it was. Lots of white. But white never really went out. But now it's back with a vengeance. And it's more white woods. Back in the 90s, I think it was more micas and right. laminates. They did paint it, but they didn't do the whites that they do today. Right. And would you re uh, believe it? There are about 160 different whites. Oh, I believe it. And as a designer, as a I know. There's there not go. just one white. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So you have to be so careful mm -hmm. with the whites. But then again, we have gray. Gray is the new beige. The new neutral. The new neutral. Yes. And I call that, I call the grays the ish colors. <laughs> and the ish colors because it's not like the battleship gray. That was just that really sallow gray. Right. Now, today, we have the green undertones. We have the wood um, and seeing the actual woods it's with so a pink fun. undertone. So it's, it's not like it used to be. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. You can use your grays as wonderful backdrops. I love that. I love that. And then your accent colors. Your accent colors as far as your yellows, your your greens, your primaries can be done with accents. Now, I, you're a color expert as well. So tell us about some of the colors that you put into the kitchen as accents and why and does it evoke certain emotions and feelings and what's the theory behind well, that? Well, uh, just to describe one kitchen that I did, I did a yellow kitchen. And you have to know your client. Well, knowing your client is so important and listening to your client, mm -hmm. as you well know. And are they on the warm side or are they on the cool side? Mm -hmm. Very important. This particular client was on the warm side and loved yellow. Okay. So what we did, luckily, we had nice space to work with. So we did a very bright yellow. The, not the perimeter. Mm -hmm. The perimeter we mm -hmm. kept white. The island, we made it a bright yellow. Oh, now, wow. what does yellow signify? That's a color punch. There you go. <laughs> so yellow creates energy, lots of good energy, optimism. Yes. And when there's children in the family, they can do their homework. And what does it do for them? It promotes them to do more homework. So it's a, um, a joy creator and thereby you're changing some of the karma in that home yeah. with the family gathering center, the children having enhanced homework, uh, appreciation and all of that exactly. going on. Exactly. So, so I love how you combine your color expertise with your kitchen and bath expertise. That is a wonderful combination. I think I reinvented myself through the discovery of color in my presentations because of the undertones. Absolutely. And the whites having so many undertones, the grays, and the gray being the new beige is just those ish colors. I just, I just love those ish colors. Right. And gray is such a good backdrop for our, our, our vibrant colors. I love that. I love that because it gives everybody an option from the old beige. Exactly. And now we can use this warm gray. Yes. Now, one more thing I wanted to ask you. You're also CAP certified, which means certified aging in place. Now, this population of ours is getting older, and baby boomers are getting older. We have to start thinking about our homes as we age. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Aging in place is one of my specialties, and aging in place is the most important feature of aging is place is being able to stay in your home. Correct. People want to stay home. They want to stay home. So my job is to make it comfortable, healthy, and give them their dignity to stay in their home. Also aging in place, you can have, we're multi-generational now. Yes. We're baby yes. boomers. I'm a baby boomer. 
we have our Generation Y, we have our Generation X. Mm -hmm. And then now we have our Millenniums. And they are living with the baby they've boomers come because back. they've come back. The kids back. come back. And the parents, so we've got three generations living sometimes. Living in the home. In the homes. Right. Yes. And it is important to make those homes multi-generational. And even as our children come back with grandchildren, we have to provide for babies and toddlers as well. Exactly. Exactly. So what do we do in a case like that? Yes. Okay. When again, we make our islands bigger. Mm -hmm. Gravitate to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. The children can be there. The grandparents can be there. The parents can be there. And everybody can do everything as far as the cooking, the serving, the, social, the socializing. Mm -hmm. And remember, we have our extended triangle. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that we've got our coffee centers, right. we've got our computer centers, we have our docking centers. So doing a kitchen today is not just placement right. of your cooktop, your sink. Right. It's a family, family central area. Exactly. And I know we are running short of time, but give us one little brief thing on bathrooms. I know it's so important to have those grab bars, those shower seats for the aging yes. population. Aging in place. What I do and what we do in the aging in place segment as far as roll-in showers in the multi-generational culture. No matter what, you can something can happen to you. So what happens when you don't have to step over that curb? A wheelchair can go in, a walker can go in, and it still can be attractive. I believe in making it attractive mm -hmm. and pretty that you enjoy going into the bathroom. Lighting in the bathroom, so important to put your makeup on, to wash, to see yourself. The shower doors, as far as even trying not to have shower doors, mm -hmm. to make them as far as that you can just walk into the shower. The seats in the shower, always. A handheld shower. Mm -hmm. You could sit on the seat. You can wash your hair. Right. Your, your um, controls automatically. Fantastic. Yeah. And then the chromotherapy. The chromotherapy, if you can do chromotherapy in your shower, it turns colors. Oh, wonderful. Your greens, your chakras. blues, <laughs> the chakras. I mean, it's just lovely. And you get under that shower and the red and you feel vibrant. The green, you feel tranquil. Fantastic. So it's just fabulous. I, I would love to thank you for joining oh, us today. Gosh. And how can thank our you. viewers get in touch with you? You can get in touch with me at Allied Kitchen and Bath. And if you'd like more information, Anne's information will be posted on Good Karma Design's Facebook page. And now we will close our segment with Anne with a few photos of her beautiful work. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. Pleasure.